degrees across the province. Oh. Okay, so uh, we're trying to find, I've been trying to find out some uh, information since the uh, last 48 hours, but I can't. Uh, here in New Brunswick, we have the most, this, the style of the, uh, the justice system. I won't, they call it the New Brunswick justice system. I would call it the New Brunswick Russia, Russian justice system. Because they're really going against the poor. Now, what the government used to do is uh, take the poor, charge them with summary assault. That means they don't have the right to a lawyer. Uh, if it's a summary charge, number one, <clears throat> legal aid will not give you a lawyer. You have to represent yourself in court. Ha! Good luck on that one. And uh, you don't have the right to a preliminary hearing to find out if there's enough evidence to proceed to trial. And 99% of the time, the duty, so-called duty counsel will force you to plead guilty. And the judge will ask you three times, do you understand, Monsieur Leblanc, uh, what I'm charging, what you've been charged of? Three times. Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor. You know the whole story. I said it many times. Now, <clears throat> during the coronavirus, I'm going to send an email to the Premier and the Attorney General, the Minister, uh, Andrea Nason, or whatever, Andrea Nason. What's her last name? She's got three names in there. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put a complaint in this afternoon, but it's, uh, it'll be a waste of time because the bureaucrats are making sure that the less fortunate are being sent to jail. Now, Things have changed. Uh, they can no longer force you to walk home after your sentence is done. And if somebody gets murdered behind bars, there will be an inquest. There'll be a coroner inquest, an inquest to find out what happened. It's just like Caroline Warnock that died in the Miramichi jail a few years ago. She was begging for her life, but there was no coroner inquest. But that's not done yet, trust me. So what's going on now? Uh, the government is proud to say who's going to show up in court. There's a website that you can see for the next two weeks who's going to show up in court to degrade that person or whatever, even though that person is not guilty. Um, that's what they do in, in Russia. They parade people. Now, with the coronavirus, there's a new style now. The only way you could find out is somebody what the sentence they had is to show up in court, which is not everybody that shows up for other people's trial or verdict. I mean, people have, have a life. So they show up in court to find out what is the sentence. Now us, we had Don McPherson, sometime uh, Michael Staple, or other Irving employees. Uh, they have a good job. They, have a, they, uh, they don't have a good job to stay in that courtroom just to listen to all that bullshit. I wouldn't be able to do it. They couldn't pay me enough money to do that. So uh, that's the only way you'll find out what the sentence is. So remember this guy that I interviewed a couple of months ago? What's his name? Clayton? He was pissing behind Sobeys. The media said he was pissing behind... Sobeys near the walking trail where there's no walking trail there. It wasn't a winter. And they may, and they say he exposed himself. They didn't say he was pissing. They say he exposed himself. And a woman was very traumatized by seeing this guy, this homeless guy or whatever, pissing. And then she called the police and there was going to be a victim impact assessment. So I'm trying to find out <coughs> uh, what What's going on? What was the verdict? What happened? But there's no way of finding out because under the Privacy Act, uh, they will say, well, you don't have the right to find out what that person got. Under the Privacy Act. So what the government is doing is using this Russian style of uh, sentencing people to jail that the public don't know where that... You say, hey, I haven't seen... Uh, I haven't seen Chris for a while. I don't know what happened to Chris. I mean, it's bad enough you had dead bodies appearing in front, uh, in the outskirt of Fredericton and everything. But shouldn't the government, besides using this Russian style of sentencing people, 
tell the public or put it on a website what that person got. It's all right to publicize, oh, this is what this person being charged with. Shouldn't the sentence be, a, be on the website also? That's what my concern is. So I think if the Attorney General and Minister of Justice doesn't want to do, do anything, Andrea Mason doesn't want to do nothing, Mason is it? Uh, it's, um, I think she should resign. But we all know it's the bureaucrat that tells the minister what to do. So uh, the bureaucrats in the justice system, there's another story. But anyway, they should make it public on the sentence on their website. That's what I got to say.